Note that we can convert each matrix into a system of linear equations and vice versa. So if you have a system of linear equations, you can get a matrix out of it. For example, consider a one by one matrix, three, the equivalent equation is three times X equal to zero. So please note that I'm only taking the coefficient of X and forming a matrix with that coefficient. Suppose you have a two by two matrix. This two by two matrix converts into a system of linear equations in two equations in two variables. Take a look, one and two. The elements, the entries, the numbers in the first row converts into the first equation. Here you have one times X plus two times Y equal to zero. The second row includes three and four. So we can take the second row and form a system of equations with the second equation as three X plus four Y equal to zero. We can move on to the next matrix. Here you have a matrix with first row, negative 24, 10, 3. So the equivalent linear equation is negative 24x plus 10y plus 3z equal to 0. And for the second row, let me change the highlight. So this is for the first row, which converts into linear equation, negative 24x plus 10y plus 3z equal to 0. And then for the second one, you have negative 1, 1, and 1, the entries on the second row, which converts into a linear equation, negative x plus y plus z equal to 0. And finally, the last matrix can convert into a system of equations. So here you have negative 24 and 10 as the elements on the first row. So you get negative 24x plus 10y equal to 0. And for the second row, you have 3 and negative 1, which converts into 3x minus y equal to 0. And finally, the last row includes 1 and 1, which converts into x plus y equal to 0. Okay, let me use a different color here, 1 and 1, which now converts back into x plus y equal to 0. So instead of solving a system of equations directly, we can convert that into a matrix and work with that matrix equivalent to that system of equations. So this is our goal. This is our next step in this process.